Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and it's time to vlog. Okay, so right now it is Tuesday. So far, I'm like, I'm having like that I'm stressed moment. I really wish I had something to hold this up. Hold on, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so anyway, I got my, my hands free stand thingy out. Um, pretty centered. Anyway, so this morning already, I'm like stressed. It's because I'm tired. Uh, yesterday, we got a day pass to Camp Ledgewood and we went and we did the Ledgewood Wanderer patch, which was hiking three trails that were all supposed to be a quarter of a mile, which were not. Or at least in order for you to do a trail and then get back to the next trail, it ended up being significantly longer than that. So that's part of the reason that I'm, I'm tired. Chris also like, had terrible nosebleeds in the night, so he didn't sleep very well, and he kept kind of waking me up, which, gosh, I feel so bad for him. Um, but anyway, so it just ends up being like uh, a tired day today. So then I get up, I have a meeting on Zoom at 10 a.m., which I got up at like 9-ish, which is no big deal, but then I had to get Chris up at like 9.30 <laughs> so that I could like get to like get my meeting set up and everything like get him awake enough to like deal with the kids because otherwise <gasps> he can be a real bear when he's tired so um I got him up at 9 30 and then I hopped in the car went over to the school picked up the kids um school breakfast stuff the next time that we picked that up oh gosh it'll be Thursday I don't one of these days I will film that I did see that it was asked for in the comments about what schools were giving out like that they gave out tortilla sauce and marinara and I'm like that's not even the same ethnic regions like <laughs> those things don't go together um I mean don't don't get me wrong I love me some Mexican food and I love me some Italian food but not usually together anyway um so I will I have that in my my list of things to to get for you guys in a vlog um and I should do it sometime this week for you uh, but then I started a load of laundry because, of course, there's a ton of laundry that needs to be done. And are you ready? Because we're about to have a feel better about yourself moment here. Count it down. Three, two, one. I have three loads of unfolded laundry downstairs. So it feels like there's no clean laundry because I have like a full week's worth of dirty laundry to wash. And I have three whole loads that have been washed and not put away. So, th so it's might as well not be done. You know what I'm saying? If you, you get up in the morning and there's no clean socks in the underwear and the and underwear in the drawer, it feels like you have no socks in underwear. Even though I have three loads of that done downstairs. So, um, also this morning between the time that I got up and Chris got up, I filmed the ads. I'm uploading those, which also I'm just gonna say uploading to YouTube and being on Zoom at the same time. Not a winning combination, just saying, just not. So anyway, so I'm uploading to that. I'm gonna take the dirty clothes from upstairs downstairs because if we don't get them downstairs, you know, um, I don't know, I just feel like I have like a ton of stuff going on right now and it's making me a little bit stressed and I don't need to be stressed. Also, I need to get that pork butt in the oven because if I get it in the oven so that it, it warms up and I can pull it apart, I can get it in the freezer. So I need to do that. That has been left entirely too long. Uh, also, it's just sucking up a ton of real estate in my fridge right now, which just for some reason all seems like it's super jammed full. I know it is not super jammed full. It is just poorly organized because there's a thousand cups of fruit, peaches, and pineapple from the kids' lunches and also the milk. 
oh my goodness, I don't buy milk. We don't use milk a ton. So they every single day the kids get a chocolate milk pint and a white milk pint. pint. The kids never ever drink the white milk. So I make an effort, I mean I've talked about it before, to use up the white milk. They're not drinking the chocolate milk either. So all of a sudden I have, I'm not even joking, I think I have eight pints of, of chocolate milk. So on my haul this week, you saw that there was a request for more snacky foods and I bought cereal. I actually had to make a, a midweek run to the grocery store for Cheerios, generic Cheerios, because the girls are working on their three cheers for animals journey. And one of the activities was to make a, a Cheerio bird feeder, or as you may know, like a popcorn um, garland, like at Christmas is the same concept, except it's with Cheerios. So I bought that and of course Chris is like, mmm, Cheerios. So the good news is that he drank up like three pints of milk over the last couple of days eating Cheerios. Hooray! And he also finished the box of cereal that I got in my haul. So, I mean, the Cheerios wasn't designed for that and I think the girls are going to want to go back and make some more garlic. because we make garlands and put them out on our tree out front. But um, now I just have this glut of chocolate milk. So they're, it's, you know what, here's my, this is the truth. In, in also in some of the comments that I haven't, I haven't replied to, but I have read them. People were talking about like their, um, their garbage f dishes, like they, the, the, the food that they make that cleans out the refrigerator that you can use up all the little whatevers. Um, but like the smoothies are like the garbage cleaner of my refrigerator right now. Uh, cause they do everything there. Yogurt, milk, uh, fruit cups that, that are open. So like we, we typically get like applesauce, um, diced peaches and pineapple all go in there. Um, the, the random fruit that they don't want, like they'll eat an apple, but they will not eat a whole pear. But you can put the whole pear in there, in the, in the smoothie and boom. And then, you know, I throw in a couple frozen bananas and everybody drinks it. Boom. So, like, that's my that's my garbage dish of the uh, lately. Uh, and then also, speaking of things that were in the comments, I had asked about the ham broth and what to use it for. And um, some good tips. And I did actually use one of them, said use to cook your rice in it. And I want you to know I did that. And Chris unprompted said, that rice is really good this time. And I'm like... Bing. So I'm feeling like I'm getting, that's the, and that, that broth came off of the pork butts when I cooked them the first and second time I put them, put it in a container. So, and it's very gelatinous, which means it's full of like collagen and like really good for your body things. So I, of course I don't want to throw it out. I want to use it up and it's a broth. I don't have to buy. You know what I'm saying? It's like I bought, I bought like a $12 pork butt, which was 17 pounds of pork butt. And then I got like lard out of it. I got broth out of it. And then I got the meat as well. So it was a good buy. 69 cents a pound is what I paid for that on manager special. So anyway, I just wanted to get you up to date <laughs> five minutes, seven minutes, you know, all the time in the world. I'm going to go and get the laundry from up here, set down the stairs. And, um, we're going to go from there. All right. I'll see you in a few minutes.